Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Uh, seriously, welcome back. <laughs> HOA and the kids and I just got back from Washington, D.C., where we spent a few days after we did the Fluid Art Boutique in Virginia. It was so much fun, and we had such an amazing time meeting all of you who were there, and it was just I'm so thankful and appreciative that you guys made the trip and those of you who were there we had a really really great time together so thank you from the bottom of my heart I had an awesome time with you guys uh, we did just go to DC it was a lot of fun DC is definitely a walk in town <laughs> so we went and saw a lot of cool monuments and museums and we had a wonderful wonderful time and we just got back last night and of course I'm itching to paint so tonight we are going to do another strainer pour <laughs> inspired by my friend Nate Bright Art um, and his amazing strainer pours that he's been doing. This will be the third one I'm doing. The first one was the groovy one that I tilted out with the pyro orange and that whole groovy color palette. And then the next one was more blues and greens. Now that I know I can just sort of touch the spinner and it will keep going <laughs> and I don't have to actually constantly be pushing it. So for some reason that was really freaking me out. So now that I know it will move, I'm more comfortable. So this is a 20 by 20 inch gallery rep canvas. I have taped the back and put my push pins in and I have painted my sides and edges with my quinacridone crimson and uh, I have my strainer ready to go. So I'm going to scoot this out of the way and then I will show you the colors that we are using tonight and hopefully I won't knock that off center. Okay, first of all we are using my favorite gold, my Decorate Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Everything tonight is mixed with mix mix pour. You can get your own mix by emailing Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com and she will get back to you. Um, I have added a little bit of water to all of these tonight. This one still seems a smidge thicker than everything else so I may thin this out just a smidge more but so far that's looking pretty good. Then we have our Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels mixed with Amsterdam Titanium White. So the ratio for this is about an ounce and a half of titanium white and maybe a teaspoon of the satin enamels in a 16 ounce cup. So not a lot of this, much more of this. Okay, and then we have the stars of our show tonight. I'm still on this pyrrole orange. <laughs> I'm loving what it does. I'm loving how it looks. Very bright and cheerful and happy and joyful. And I'm, I'm really digging on that right now. So. We're using the pyrrole orange again from Golden. And then we have some of this lovely quinacridone crimson. This is what I painted on the sides and edges. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. You can see the leaf is a mound on a mound and sinks into itself pretty much right away. One of the things that we talked about at Fluid Art Boutique in my classes was the consistency a lot because that's one of the main questions. And it's not so much the mound on the mound. HOA, can you zoom in real close to where the surface of the paint is and see how fast that mound melts into the cup. You see how that, where it hits the surface and it makes that puddle, it just kind of melts. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're looking for. That's our quinacridone crimson. And then last but not least, I have my permanent violet dark, which I am so happy about because I found some at Cherry's Artorama and I've heard that Blick also has it in stock again. So this is our Golden's permanent violet dark, one of my absolute favorite colors ever. Love it. I also want to show you guys my apron that Joanne gave me, which I love. It's so funny. I had this huge smile on my face the whole time that she gave it to me. I didn't want to get it dirty because I did want to show it to you guys while it was still pristine and perfect. But thank you so much, Joanne. You're awesome. And I love it. Okay, so now we are using this split cup tonight because I didn't last time and I kind of regretted it. This one is from paintpourstore.com. It has the handle. This is five chambers. I really like their cups because you can request how many chambers you want it to have and you can request how much you want it to hold. So this is, I believe, 16 ounce cup for 20 by 20 and there are five chambers. So that's from paintpourstore.com. Okay, all right, we're going to layer the cup now. I am going to put some of this quinacridone crimson in the middle chamber. put some white on one side like 
here. And I think I'm gonna put some gold on the other side, but I think I was gonna thin this out just a touch. So let's do that now. Just a little bit of water with mixed pour and thins it out beautifully. That's one of the things that I love the most about it is that you can really control the consistency of mix with very, very little water. And obviously that means very little stirring. So, okay. Let's pour the gold on the other side of that. And we're going to use the permanent violet dark on the other side. I highly recommend when you use anything that's 3D printed that you have a bucket of water standing by that you can dunk it into right as soon as you're done pouring. You don't want your paint to dry in there. Don't use very hot water when you're cleaning these. Use cool water. Okay, so that's ready to go. Let's move this over and make sure it's in frame. Okay. Get rid of this. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of gold and thin it out even more and pour it into the center to pour it into. So I'm thinning the paints out a little bit more this time because I kind of felt like they weren't um, exiting the strainer as quickly as I wanted them to. All right, we're gonna find the center. I think it's right about there. I'm gonna pour this nice puddle of gold in there first. Okay, now we're gonna put our strainer right about there and let it sink in. All right, let's do this. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Eyeless, okay. Semper Paretus. So I'm actually gonna start it spinning off and then I'm gonna pour it. Okay, here we go. Now, Nate said don't go too fast. I'm gonna move it over a little bit more. There we go, okay, here we go. I'm also going to slow down pouring it a little bit. I don't want to stop and readjust anything. I just want to keep pouring it slowly. Pour any more. Keep spinning, buddy. Okay. Let me stop it there. And we're just gonna let this spin for a bit. We are getting a lot of blending, which is okay. I keep spinning this and let all that paint come out. Um, so I did want to do a quick thank you very much to Sarah Mack and Karen Dershin and Kathleen Osmore for doing Fluid Art Boutique with me. We had such a good time with you guys. Thank you so much. My sisters, I love you guys a lot. Um, also, I have some t-shirts left over from Fluid Art Boutique, which I will put a picture of up for you guys so you can see, and I will be selling them. So if you're interested in getting a Fluid Art Boutique t-shirt for yourself, please email me or contact me on Messenger and I will hook you up. Um, I do have a bunch of sizes. Send me a message with what you're looking for. I think they were $34.99 is what we said. Yeah. Lots of sizes. Let me know if you're interested and we'll send one out to you. Okay. All right, this is looking very blendy. I think I had too much gold in there. 
There's gold in them there, Hills. <laughs> Actually, what I think I want to do is I think I just want to layer the three colors and not put white and gold in there. So we're going to try it that way this time. I'm going to put the red violet in, or the quinacridone crimson in first. And then pyro orange again. Just see there's more blending this time because the paint's a little thinner. So we're actually going to leave those two chambers in the middle empty. And if there's a little bit of white or gold in there that wants to still come out, that's just fine. Alright, so you're saying just spin it and then pour it from one place. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's do that. We're going to spin it. I'm going to go a little faster this time. And I'm just going to pour it from one place. So the paint drain out. I like what's happening there though now. It looks very, very pretty. Good call on that HOA. I think that did make a lot of difference and I think also not having the white and the gold in there made a big difference also. So there wasn't as much blending. some crimson just straight in there. Yeah, I would think if you wanted the most distinct bands, bands. Yeah, like we did last time. Yeah. Color, individual colors. about this he was like no I just had it going real slow <laughs> obviously this is not an exact science but it's fun very groovy baby yeah it does have that pyro orange in there but I like that I did the individual colors at the end with the alternating the permanent violet and the macrodone crimson. I like the way that, that looks, so we're starting to get some cells popping up through there, which is cool. I'm gonna take some of that off, so we're gonna have to spin it some more. Unfortunately, I'm losing the part that I like. <laughs> and I'm getting paint on my apron. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, we're gonna do something else that Sarah told me. I'm gonna spin that and pick it up. Okay. I like that it's uh, not symmetrical. You do? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm gonna. It's more organic. I'm gonna fix this with my little Fiona finger dip. what's happening on the edges. I hate that. 
Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, so I have a couple of ideas. I think I actually want to put this on here again, but I'm not going to put it over there. I'm going to put it over here in this area. And I'm going to put a little bit of paint in there. And then we're going to try something else. So I'm going to start with some of that Quinacridone Crimson. And I'm going to start spinning it in a second after I have some paint in there. And I'm going to put just a smidge of white in there. And then some of the violet. And then we're going to give this a good spin. And let that come out over there. And see what happens. If it's cool or not. So now we're playing with placement of the spinner. And creating different effects. From putting it in different places. Because as with anything that's spun out. There's a thin layer of paint on there. There's not a lot of paint on this at all. I'm not crazy about the way that that looks. So I'm going to go to plan B and see if we can't make something cool happen. I do love all of this. This part's really cool. This part I'm not so crazy about. So let's see. Let's take a little bit of this. We're just going to go over here with it. I'm going to take some of this and we're going to go over here with it. And then we're going to take a Makita leaf blower and we're going to blow this like a perimeter pour. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I Let's start over there. paint in here so we're just gonna wait on that part Interesting or horrible? Looks like it sprung a leak. <laughs> I don't think I like it. Huh? I don't think I like that part. I think I just want to spin it some more. I'm going to spin it some more and I see the trick of white paint right there. I'm going to pick off. Okay, I'm just going to spin it some more. And we'll see what happens. I still really do like most of this, so. I am happy with about 80% of it now. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna fix this center part. As it blows harder, it blends it a lot more. So stop blowing it so hard, genius. With your progressive trigger. Yeah, right.
a little better. Looks like Cookie Monster took a bite out of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, HOA? I love everything else. <laughs> I do. I love all of this. I guess I could mix up some more paint and just do it again. Should we do that? That's up to you. It'll take me about a minute. I think I want to do that. Okay. So I'm just going to mix up a little bit more paint in here. cool looking okay so observations I don't think I like the thinner paint <laughs> I think it blended a lot more I mean I do like these colors and I like how they blend with each other but that wasn't the goal for this the goal for this was to get those beautiful distinct colors didn't have much luck with the split cup again I have to go back and watch Nate's video <laughs> But I think thicker paint would definitely help. But I do love what is happening in here. And as I'm watching, there's more cells popping up in that darker violet in the center, which is really cool. This part in here is really beautiful. I love that. I don't know what happened here, but we're gonna touch that and fix it, sort of. Or not fix it and make it worse. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that alone now. Let's torch it. Torchy! What do you think, HOA? Should I leave it like that or should we, or should we just let it spin a lot more? I'm kind of tempted to just let it spin a lot more. What do you think? Sure. I'm not crazy about that corner. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to let it go and spread out the cool center part. I like that the lines are becoming more visible in the center as we spin it more. This one actually looks like a dandelion. I like it. If dandelions were purple and red and orange. <laughs> okay. I like that. Now I like it. Totally looks like a dandelion to me. Do you see the dandelion yep. HOA? <laughs> dandelions are actually really, really cool. The word dandelion actually comes from the French Don de Lyon which means lion's teeth. So for example, if you were looking at a lion with his teeth open, <laughs> but that's actually what dandelion comes from, Don de Leon. I just always thought that was really funny. But I love this. I love what's happening in here. I love the color gradient with that permanent blue violet. And then underneath it is the rosy 
crimson and then a little bit of orange coming through with a little bit of gold. I like that swirly center. I like that we do still see the pyrrole orange and kind of that almost a strawberry color from the crimson where it blended with the white. And I like that there is some white in there and some gold. So this is pretty cool. This corner still, I'm more happy with it now than I was previously, but you know, just playing and having fun. It's so nice to be home and to be painting and to play with paint and to, to get messy and dirty again and to be here with all of you guys. So thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. I will show you this piece when it's dry. We'll be right back. Come on, a slow, sexy spinach away. Another one? Sure. Another one. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, this is a few days later, and it is completely dry now. I'm very, very pleased with this. I love how it turned out dried with really beautifully bold and dramatic colors. I love how the permanent violet deep darkened, and I love seeing that pyrrole orange in there, especially in the section where I like mixed really, really pretty stuff with these gorgeous cells coming up. So pretty you guys can see all that. I love the center, that swirl, and there's this beautiful little sparkle of gold all around the middle in there. It's really, really pretty. I really like this one. This one was definitely a journey. I mean, <laughs> but the thing that I really hope you guys take away from this is there's always something else that can be done. There's always things that you can do to make it what you want just don't be afraid to try this corner especially is really really pretty i love these lines so this one kind of reminds me of a dandelion <laughs> especially with that sort of pink puffy cloud around it and, uh, i like it so this one is going to be journey to a dandelion because it was a journey to get here but like I said, one of the things that I want you to take away from this is there's always something else that can be done. You know, don't be afraid to play with your paint. Don't be afraid to experiment. So this was definitely interesting. I had a lot of fun with this one. And I love how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I really appreciate you. It's so good to be home. It's so good to be painting in my studio again. And, uh talking to you guys. So I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I will see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.